Hi students. Uh, so today we are going to discuss another important relationship that is the relationship between the molarity M and the mole fraction X. So this will also come under the topic expressing concentration of solutions. So we have learned many relations and this is also important actually. Okay. So we will try to see how to derive this and what is the final relation. Okay. Okay, so to start with this, first we will take the definition of molarity. Okay, so what is molarity M? So molarity M is equal to number of moles in A. So this I have represented A. So we know that it is the number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters. So what I am doing here is, uh, one minute, let me introduce also this. A here stands for solute and b here stands for solvent okay okay so let's see so the molarity is equal to number of moles so na represents the number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters so here i have represented in milliliters so that's why v ml is coming so if v ml i am using i should multiply by thousand so that the whole term i can even rewrite this like na divided by v ml by thousand correct so you know that this is uh, ml when you are dividing by thousand this is actually in liters so instead of directly representing it in v liters i can even represent using milliliter that is v ml by thousand so that's why thousand is coming on the numerator and you are getting this expression okay now now we know that what is mass of the solution we already learned solution consists of solvent and solute it is the mass of the solvent plus mass of the solute i can say okay uh, so i will write it more clearly first we will write solute for your understanding mass of the solute plus mass of the solvent there is no difference mass of the solvent okay usually we represent solute first mass of the solute plus mass of the solvent now listen here we need to find mass of the solution so we know that number of moles our basic definition we know that from the de basic definition number of moles is equal to weight in gram divided by molecular mass correct so how you can uh, find uh, the weight in gram over here or the mass of the substance this can be cross multiplied right so this can be cross multiplied so mass of the substance that is weight in gram of the substance is equal to molecular mass multiplied by number of moles okay so right now i know that mass of a substance this substance can be solution or solvent or solute anything so now i can write mass of a substance instead of that i can write mass of the solution how i can write in terms of molecular mass and number of moles i know that it will be the mass of the solute plus mass of the solvent solute means a so i can write ma ma will be then what actually molecular mass of the solute multiplied by number of moles of the solute plus mb b is solvent i can write molecular mass of the solvent multiplied by number of moles of the solvent okay i hope you understood this much so i can substitute here mass of the solution as what actually ma into na plus mb into nb
okay so i have substituted here mass of the solution is equal to ma na plus mb nb where ma into na as we have seen it is uh, multiplied so that it is the mass of the solute so this stands for mass of the solute and this stands for mass of the solvent when you add these two you will get mass of the solution okay now we know that our fundamental relationship density of the solution is what actually we know density is mass by volume so density of the solution in gram per ml can be written as mass of the solution that is in gram and volume of the solution in ml okay so from this i can represent density by d and we know mass of the solution just now we have found out ma na plus mb nb divided by volume of the solution that is vml but from our basic definition of molarity initially we have used we know that molarity is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters where vml by 1000 will come so i could rearrange this so that i can substitute in place of vml so i can how i can rearrange so i can say vml is equal to ma na plus mb nb divided by density so the same formula i am substituting here this is the definition for molarity molarity is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in ml since ml i am multiplying by 1000 so ml volume in solution in ml means ma na plus mb nb divided by d so i am rearranging molarity is equal to na into 1000 d will come on the numerator into d divided by ma na plus mb nb so until now it has not just convert it has not converted into mole fraction the next step we will convert this into mole fraction okay So what we need to do? So I am going to divide the equation one on equation one on the numerator and denominator by n a plus n b. Okay. So just I have rubbed the equation one. Uh, I will uh, rewrite that. So the equation one was m is equal to n a into thousand into d by m a n a plus m b n b okay this was equation one okay so this was my equation one so this is separate okay so you could see here so this was my equation one so in this equation one i am dividing the numerator and denominator by na plus nb so you could see here na plus nb introduced in the numerator and i have introduced the same na plus nb in the denominator so it will come to here and it will come to here so you could see here na plus nb coming to the first part and also it is coming in the second part because when you divide by na plus nb on the whole side this will become a by this and this by this so na plus nb na plus nb it is coming now please listen here what does this stands for na by na plus nb so this we have already learned number of moles of the solute divided by total number of moles of the uh, solution 
and this is what actually Na by Na plus Nb same thing here Nb by Na plus Nb so number of moles of the solvent divided by total number of moles of the solution so we know that Na by Na plus Nb is nothing but my mole fraction Xa and Nb by Na plus Nb is nothing but my mole fraction Xb that is a mole fraction of the solvent first one is the mole fraction of the solute so on substituting this xa over here numerator becomes xa into 1000 into d divided by ma into this will become again what this will become xa plus mb into nb by na plus nb this will become what into xb so i can say this is my final relationship that depicts molarity molarity with the mole fraction of the solute mole fraction then you could see mole fraction of the solvent okay and ma and mb stands for molecular mass of the solute and this for molecular mass of the solvent and d stands for density of the solution in gram per ml so i hope you understood uh, the relationship so this one you need to learn by heart or you need to remember or you could uh, remember like how i have derived it also okay but questions can be derived out of this okay i hope you understood thanks for patient listening so hi students so today we are going to discuss the last topic uh, in the uh, uh, in the topic that is the expressing concentration of solution that is the last subtopic i could say okay so this relation also you should learn because uh, we are covering for entire coverage so these things are not present in the textbooks actually but this is important for je or if it is for neat so this relation can also be asked i can just give the relation but that is not fair actually if you are not understanding the concept uh, if you are forgetting the formula you won't be able to do it so i am also going through the derivation also for your understanding okay so so what is the topic here so here we are going to discuss the relation between the molarity capital m molality small m and density of the solution d that is expressed in gram per ml okay for our convenience you know that uh, whenever solute is there there is a molecular mass of the solute we usually use the simple capital m and we know molarity also, also has the simple capital m so here we are taking molarity as capital m and the molecular mass of the solute is taken as m dash please remember it is m capital m dash okay so let's discuss how to start with this we need to relate between molarity molality and density of the solution okay so i started with my fundamental concept that is molarity so you know that molarity m that is molarity m is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters i know that suppose i am taking for one liter solution then we know that one molar is defined for one liter right so we i am taking it for one liter then volume of the solution will become what one liter correct so now how we can rearrange this if you are cross multiplying these two you know that number of moles of the solute will become m into one that is equal to m what is the indirect meaning of that number of moles of the solute is equal to m that means m moles of solute is present in how much liter of the solution one liter of the solution understood now we, we can still rewrite this equation as molarity m is equal to number of moles of the solute can be rewritten as weight in gram of the solute divided by molecular mass of the solute for that we are using the symbol m dash so the same symbol i'm using m dash divided by volume of the solution in liters that is equal to one liter correct okay so from this what you how you can write the formula for weight in gram of the solute hmm? so i can write weight in gram of the solute that is weight in gram of the solute this is equal to i know m dash by one is equal to m dash so i am cross multiplying this so this will become m into m dash so i got weight in gram of the solute as what m into m dash so how we can indirectly write that that means m into m dash gram of the solute is present in one liter of the solution one liter of the solution
okay so just now we have told m into m dash gram of the solute is present in one liter of the solution so the same thing i can rewrite it as m into m dash gram of the solute is present in 1000 ml of the solution because we know that one liter is equal to 1000 ml correct so so the next thing we need to know is what is density this is a fundamental formula we are learning from eighth standard so we know that density is equal to mass by volume so here we are speaking about solution so we know that density of the solution is equal to mass of the solution in gram divided by volume of the solution in ml because we are here we are expressing density as gram per ml okay so from this can you tell me what will be mass of the solution mass of the solution can be obtained by cross multiplying this so the mass of the solution is equal to density that is represented by the letter d into volume of the solution in ml we know that what is the volume of the solution in ml thousand so density the unit uh, so the mass the unit is gram so i am using the unit gram here so i understood what is mass of the solution why we are doing all this because we want to find between molality also molality means it is mass of the solvent we know that number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent so tell me what is mass of the solvent so first i am representing it in gram mass of the solvent in gram will be equal to what mass of the solution minus mass of the solute mass of the solution minus mass of the solute and we already found out what is mass of the solution that is nothing but 1000 into d gram minus mass of the solute we already taken in 1000 ml of the solution what is the mass of the solute that is present we have already calculated that is m into m dash gram m into m dash now i got mass of the solvent in gram only but we know to find molality we need to represent that in what in kilogram so to convert that into kilogram divide this divide this equation one by 1000 so you will get 1000 into d minus m into m dash divided by 1000 So we have just seen mass of the solvent in kilogram is equal to 1000 D minus M M dash by 1000 to convert it into kilogram. And now we can apply our fundamental equation for molality. So what is fundamental equation for molality? Molality is equal to molality small m is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent in kilogram. And now we know molality can be represented by the letter small m and we have already calculated initially what was the number of moles of the solute hope you remember molar from the equation molarity i got that molarity is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liters there i have substituted one liter and number of moles of the solute is equal to m into one liter that will become m hope you remember initially so i can substitute number of moles of the solute is equal to m divided by mass of the solvent in kilogram that we have already calculated that is 1000 into d minus m m dash by 1000 so this can be rewritten as small m molality is equal to 1000 times molarity divided by 1000 times density minus molarity into m dash that is the molecular mass of the solute so this is the relationship that is connecting molality molarity and density of the solution so i hope you understood how it is derived 
so please go through it and those who are finding it difficult please rewrite it please understand and rewrite it i will tell one simple shortcut instead of learning from the initial steps earlier we, i can simply say that i used this fundamental equation that is molality is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent in kilogram now please think molality i have already introduced a small m here now what i need to introduce next capital m so for that i have taken first i need to find out number of moles of the solute in capital m so i know i know the number of moles of the solute is also present in my equation molarity we know that molarity is number of moles of the solute by volume of the solution in liters so there from number of moles of the solute i find out the capital m i find out or i represented in terms of molarity next is mass of the solvent i need to find out i know that mass of the solvent is nothing but mass of the solution minus mass of the solute so already i know molecular mass of the solute uh, i have uh, found it out uh, so this this solely the mass of the solvent only i have find it out like mass of the solution i find it out then mass of the minus mass of the molecular minus mass of the solute so i hope you understood that also how we have arrived at this equation so that only you need to find it out actually so substitute there then you will get this okay so to remember where to start means remember this equation substitute for number of moles of the solute first you substitute then you substitute for mass of the solvent please remember mass of the solvent is nothing but mass of the solution minus mass of the solute okay i hope you are clear with the derivation now we will try to do one question based on this okay okay i hope you are able to see the question here the question here is the molarity of nano3 sodium nitrate solution is 1 molar given the density of the solution is given as 1.25 gram per ml calculate the molarity of the solution so please listen here molarity is given okay the density is also given density is also given and they are asking you to find out the term molality and we know the relation between these three just now we have learned we know that molality is equal to thousand times molarity in divided by thousand times density minus molarity multiplied by molecular mass of the solute m dash and here we know that molarity is equal to what one because one is given here directly thousand times d density is given as 1.25 okay minus one into 
that is molarity m stands for molarity that is 1 into m dash m dash is the molar mass of the solute so solute here is sodium nitrate 23 plus 14 plus 48 it will come around 85 grams so into 85 so if you calculate this thousand divided by 1250 minus 85 that will become 1165 so if you divide this you will get the answer as 0 0.85 molal okay so this is the way we can directly find the answer so there are some students uh, who are not remembering this formula they can also do this question very easily so what they need to do here they need to find out the mass of the solvent here correct they can directly apply the fundamental equation that is what uh, molality is equal to number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent in kilogram so uh, uh, number of moles of the solute by mass of the solvent in kilogram so there again as i told you can directly apply the molarity equation and find out the number of moles of the solute and the mass of the solvent can be found it as how mass of the solution minus mass of the solute okay mass of the solution minus mass of the solute will give you mass of the solvent then you can directly apply no doubt so in that method also you will get the answer so this is a since we have learned the relationship i am directly applying it and getting the answer i hope you are now clear with this concept so we have went through almost all relationships and all topics in expressing the concentration of the solution and we will switch to the next topic in the next class thank you for your patient listening have a nice day